Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another quick Carvera tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at the different options for connecting to your Carvera desktop CNC. For all of these methods, you will need the Carvera controller app installed on your device. This app is a free download from Makeara.com and it's crucial for controlling your Carvera. And if you're using a Windows device, you may also need to download the Windows USB driver. We don't use the Carvera controller app to design our projects, but we do use this app to select our files, adjust our machine settings, and perform other control functions for our Carvera desktop CNC. Once you've installed the Carvera controller app on your device, you can choose from one of three options to connect to your Carvera. These options are connecting directly to the Carvera via a USB cable, connecting directly to the Carvera using its own internal Wi-Fi network, or connecting to the Carvera by placing it onto your own Wi-Fi network. First, let's look at how to connect via a USB cable. You need to use a high-speed USB-C data cable to connect to your Carvera using the USB-C port on the back of the machine. Ensure that it is a high-speed data cable, like the one provided with the Carvera, and not just a charging cable that might come with your phone or tablet, as this will not work. Also ensure that you're using the USB-C port on the back of the machine, not one of the USB ports on the sides of the machine, as these side ports are intended for charging tablets or the UV curing lamp that comes with the PCB fabrication pack. Once you've connected the USB cable to your Carvera and your device, you can open the connection menu in the top left corner of the Carvera controller app, then select USB. On a Windows device, the Carvera will be listed as a COM connection in one of your COM ports. On a Mac or tablet device, the Carvera will be listed as a USB serial connection. After selecting your device, the app should synchronize and connect with your CNC automatically. Next, let's look at how to connect to the Carvera using its own internal Wi-Fi signal. The Carvera broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network, so that way you can connect to it wirelessly without actually being connected to the machine. And this is a great option if you can't put it onto your own network or if you want to connect to it using a tablet device. This network, of course, does not have an internet connection, so it can only be used for data-to-data -data transfers. On your device, look for and connect to the Carvera's Wi-Fi network. This should be called Carvera with a series of numbers to represent your unique machine ID. Once connected, launch the Carvera controller app and open the connection menu, then select Wi-Fi. You should see your Carvera and its own unique ID, and you should be able to select it and connect to it wirelessly. We'll look at how to rename what comes up in that drop-down menu later, but first let's talk about the third and final way to connect to your Carvera, which is actually placing the Carvera on your own Wi-Fi network in your home, your school, or your business. This option is great if your computer isn't located near the Carvera, or if you have multiple Carveras and you want to be able to switch between them easily in the Carvera controller app. First, connect to your Carvera via USB, as discussed earlier. Next, open up the Settings menu and select the Wi-Fi icon. Here you can select the Wi-Fi network that you want to add the Carvera to, then enter the password for this network. Once the Carvera has connected, you will be shown a confirmation message with the Carvera's IP address. After this, you can disconnect from the Carvera via USB, then select Wi-Fi and choose the Carvera like we did earlier. But this time, you didn't need to join the Carvera's Wi-Fi network. Instead, the Carvera has popped up as long as your device and the Carvera are on the same network. And if you have multiple Carveras on your network, you'll see them all listed in that Wi-Fi section if they're all on your Wi-Fi network. But to make this easier, you can rename the Carveras to distinguish between them. Let's see how to do this. You can open up the settings window in the Carvera controller app after connecting to your machine. Then select advanced. Under Wi-Fi, you can change the machine Wi-Fi name to whatever you'd like so you can easily choose and distinguish between your Carvera. After applying these settings, you will need to disconnect and reset your Carvera for these changes to take place. And that's all there is to it. Now that you know how to connect to your Carvera, the next step will be uploading G-code files, which you can learn about in other tutorial videos that we have, so you can start to manufacture anything it is that you're looking to create. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.